Hi everyone and welcome to video number 14. I can't believe I've already made it so far in the series I've been doing. Today's video is going to include names 35 through 31 and just a quick little reminder I have put all these videos together in a little playlist and so feel free to check out the other videos as well. And at number 35 in the year 2014 was the name Caleb. This is the English form of the Hebrew Caleb spelled K-E-L-E-B which means dog. Of course, Caleb is the name of a very prominent figure during the Mosaical times in the Bible, and I really strongly associate this name with my good friend, again, that I mention all the time, Amelia. Caleb is her brother's name. I also have a cousin whose first and middle name is Caleb Ross, and then my husband has a cousin whose first and middle name is Caleb Sullivan. I think both of those names are so awesome. Like I mentioned in one of my former videos, there is a popular British actor named Caleb Landry Jones, and then Caleb Falwell is the lead singer from the band Kings of Leon. There are also a couple of really great literary associations with this name. Caleb Trask is one of the main characters from East of Eden, written by John Steinbeck, and then Caleb Pryor is the brother of the main character from the Divi Divergent series. This name is slowly lowering in popularity, however, this is a name I see spelled with different spellings quite often, such as beginning it with a K instead of a C or adding a Y after the A in it. So I believe if you add up the different spellings, it would be quite popular still, even though it is lowering. This has been in the top 100 boy names since 1989. It has almost always been in the top 1,000 boy names in the U.S. Because of popularity, I do think this would make a better middle name. That being said, it would be extremely cool and unexpected to see Caleb as a middle name on a boy in 2015. The first Caleb alternative I have is Kaylin. This is an Irish name that means slender and it can also be spelled C-A-O-L-A-N. It is also sometimes pronounced as Keelan. There are a few British soccer players with this name and I actually kind of have an interesting association with this name because I had a former co-worker who now has five children but her oldest child she had just given birth to right before I started working there. And they meant to name him Caleb and somebody spelled it wrong or they spelled it wrong or something like that and it came out as Kaylin on accident and they just kept his name. Would you guys ever do something like that? Let me know in the comments below. I thought that was pretty insane. <laughs> this name was in the top 1,000 boy names a few years in the 90s and 2000s, but is not currently in the top 1,000 boy names. And of course, I think someone that likes Caleb might like Kaylin for its very similar sound. And my next Caleb alternative I have is Loeb. This is a German name that means lion. Another lion meaning, of course. I should probably add this up at the end of the series and see how many of these names mean lion. Very cool meaning. This name is also sometimes pronounced just as Loeb. So I definitely think a Caleb lover might like Aloha better for its more similar sound. There was a former queen of Egypt named Dominique France. Loa Picard. So that's a very fun regal association with this name. There is a singer whose name is Lev Loeb. It's extremely uncommon as a first name, but I did also see that there is a classical library, a really fascinating one. I was going to put some information about it in this video, but it's it's got so much I don't even know where to begin. But yeah, you should just try googling Loeb Classical Library. It's incredible. I think that someone likes Caleb but might like Loeb because they're both two syllable names ending in E B and they both have animal meanings as well. And my last Caleb alternative I have is Caven. This is a Gaelic name that means handsome. It does come from the same roots as the name Kevin, which also means handsome. So this could honor a Kevin as well. There's a county in Ireland called Cavan, but otherwise this is extremely uncommon as a given name. And I would love to see someone with the name Cavan. I think it is a gorgeous name that fits in really well with today's trends. Of course, I think someone likes Caleb might like Cavan since they're both two syllables and start with that K sound. Number 34 in the year 2014 was the name Sebastian. Sebastian is the English form of Sebastianus, which means venerable. Of course, everyone associates this name with a little crab from The Little Mermaid named Sebastian. Sebastian Stan is the name of one of the actors from Once Upon a Time. who He plays the Mad Hatter, and he was also in the show Gossip Girls. And Sebastian Koch is from the show Homeland. Sebastian is also the name of one of the characters from Shakespeare's Twelfth Night, and I love love, love the association of the band Bell and Sebastian. I love a ton of their music. This name has been in the top 100 boy names to, since the year 2000 and has always been in the top 1,000 boy names. I definitely think Sebastian is one of those names that people don't realize how popular it is. It seems very Britishy and like aristocratic and so I think people think that they're using something 
grand and unexpected for their son when, when it's all the way up at number 34 right now. So it's not uncommon at all in 2015. First Sebastian alternative is just Bastion. Bastion is a German diminutive of Sebastian, which again means venerable. Bastion is the name of the little boy from A Never Ending Story. He has a really cool name in there. It's Bastion Balthazar Bucks. <laughs> kind of a mouthful, but super, super grand and strong. I personally actually find Bastion on its own a little bit handsomer than Sebastian as well. And someone that likes Sebastian might like Bastion because they have a similar sound and a shared meaning and origin, of course. My next Sebastian alternative I have is Sebastiano. This is the Italian form of Sebastian that means venerable again. This name is used frequently as a surname in Italy. And there were tons and tons and tons of Italian Renaissance painters with this name, which I find really cool and fascinating. There is an Italian actor slash model slash musician whose name is Sebastiano Serafini. Very cool name and very good association. And again, I think that someone like Sebastian might like Sebastiano because they have the same meaning and origin. And Sebastian could actually be a nickname for Sebastiano. And my last Sebastian alternative I have is Cassian. This is an English form of Cassius, which means empty. His name can also be pronounced Cassian. And Carrie Alwes, the actor from A Princess Bride. I love that actor so much. He has a brother named Cassian or Cassian Alwes, so that's a very cool association. Also, actor Patrick Wilson has a son named Cassian with the K-A-S-S-I-A-N spelling. And I think that someone that likes Sebastian might like Cassian because they do kind of have a similar ending sound. And I've never met anyone with this name or seen it on anyone's name list, but I think it is insanely cool and would love to see it used. At number 33 in the year 2014 was the name Henry. Henry is an English form of Heinrich, which means home ruler. This name has been popular almost always and has been around for hundreds and hundreds of years. So there are tons of associations with this name. Of course, everyone's going to associate it with Henry VIII, the king. There's also actor Henry Cavill, Henry Winkler from the show Happy Days. Henry Thomas was the actor for, who played the main little boy in E.T., you might also associate this with a candy bar called Oh Henry. Henry Jekyll is the name from Dr. Jekyll from the book Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And Henry Mills is one of the main characters from the show Once Upon a Time that I mentioned earlier. This has been in the top 100 boy names since 2006 and rising in popularity. It was only not in the top 100 boy names from years 1969 through 2006. Otherwise, before that and after that, it was always in the top 100 boy names. So it is very, very commonly used in the U.S. It was also almost always in the top 10 boy names in the late 1800s and early 1900s. This is another one of those names that because of popularity, I think would be more fresh as a middle name. And that being said, I don't see it as a middle name very often. And so it'd be very, very cool to see it as a middle on a little boy in 2015. My first Henry alternative I have is Henley. Henley is an English name that means high meadow. I associate this with the shirt, the Henley shirt, which I actually own lots of them and wear them a lot. So that's a really great association for me. And there's also the actress Georgie Henley who played Lucy Pavensi in the Chronicles of Narnia movies. She's also a really great association for me. There's also a poet named William Ernest Henley you might associate this name with. And I think that someone who loves Henry might like Henley because it has a super similar sound. And yeah, Henley is definitely one of those names I suggest to people a lot. I would love to meet a little boy with this name. My next Henry alternative I have is Hendrik. This is a Dutch form of Heinrich, which again means house ruler. There was a Nobel Peace Prize winner whose name was Hendrik Lorentz. And this name is of course used more in Holland than over here, but I have been seeing this name used more frequently lately, especially with unique spellings. I think that someone that likes Henry might like Hendrik because they have the same meaning and origin. Hendrik can easily honor Henry and Hendrik could be a nickname for Hendrik. And my last Henry alternative I have is Henderson. This is an English name that means son of Hendrick. There's an actor named Josh Henderson from the show Dallas and Shirley Henderson was the actress who played Moaning Myrtle in the Harry Potter movies. And of course Florence Henderson played Carol Brady from the Brady Bunch. Wonderful sweet association. Henderson is also a Scottish clan name and I also want to mention quick that Henson would be really great as an Henry alternative to. It does have the same meaning. This name was actually in the top 1,000 boy names most years through the year 1950 and has not been in the top 1,000 since then. And of course, I think someone that likes Henry might like Henderson because Henderson could honor a Henry and Henry could be a nickname for Henderson. Number 32 in the year 2014 was the name Oliver. This is an English form of the Latin Oliva, which means olive tree. Oliver is another name that has been so popular in many countries for so long that you're going to have tons of associations with it. I have so many written down here. There's actor Oliver Hudson from the show Nashville, and it is another brother of Kate Hudson. Actor Oliver Platt. I really, really, really strongly associate the name Oliver with 
the movie Oliver and Company, the book Oliver Twist, and then the musical based off of the book called just Oliver with an exclamation point. I was actually in that musical when I was in sixth grade. I think those are absolutely wonderful associations. Oliver is definitely a name I see on most people's lists. People who like classic names tend to like Oliver. People who like popular names tend to like Oliver. People who like British names tend to like Oliver. People who like hipster names tend to like Oliver. It just fits in well with a lot of different trends. And I get why it's popular. It is a gorgeous name and I think Ollie is super sweet as a nickname. That being said, it is of course extremely popular for boys as a first name right now and I am seeing it used more and more frequently as a middle name as well. So if you like Oliver you, but want to use something less popular, you should definitely consider one of these alternatives instead. This name is one of the top 100 boy names since 2009 and is rising in popularity. This name was also in the top 100 boy names in the late 1800s and early 1900s and has always been the top 1,000 boy names in the U.S. My first Oliver alternative I have is Olivier. This is the French form of Oliver, which means olive tree, and of course everyone associates this name with old-time classic actor Laurence Olivier. Gorgeous, wonderful association. There's also an actor named Olivier Martinez who is from the show Revenge. This is in the top 1,000 boy names in the years 2001, 1999, and 1998, but otherwise no other years besides those. And I think that someone who likes Oliver might like Olivier because they have the same meaning and origin, and I think Olivier could honor an Oliver as well. My next Oliver alternative I have is Ollivander. This is a Greek name that means olive tree man. This name was first used used in J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter series as Mr. Ollivander, who owned the Ollivander wand shop. But I think this name is absolutely gorgeous and handsome. It could easily honor an Oliver, an Andrew, or even an Alexander. And I think that someone who likes Oliver might like Ollivander for its very similar meaning and nickname options. And my last Oliver alternative I have is Tolliver. This is an English name that means metal worker. I think a lot of you by now know that I'm not typically into occupational names. This is definitely one of my exemptions for that because metal working is definitely something a lot of people still do today and is a hobby for a lot of people as well. Tolliver is another another one of those Scottish clan names, but is very uncommon as a first name. There's actually a TV journalist named Melba Tolliver, but otherwise there are very, very few associations with this name. And I think that someone who likes Oliver might like Tolliver, obviously, for that very similar sound. I think this name is absolutely gorgeous and super cool. And my last name for this video at number 31 in the year 2014 was the name Isaac, which is, which is an English name meaning he laughs. This is, of course, a biblical name. He was one of the sons of Abraham, and Jesus came from the lineage of Isaac and Abraham, which is amazing. This name is strongly associated, of course, with Isaac Newton. There is a young actor named Isaac Hempstead Wright who plays Bran Stark from the Game of Thrones show. Isaac Asimov is a science fiction writer, and this name has been in the top 100 boy names since 1995. It was also in the top 100 boy names in the 1880s and has always been within the top 500 boy names in the U.S. So it has always been a fairly well-used name and for good reason. It is just absolutely gorgeous and it's another one that I think would be really fresh as a middle name in 2015. My first Isaac alternative I have is Issachar. Issachar is a Hebrew name that means reward, really great meaning. This is the name of one of the 12 sons of Jacob in the Bible, which of course Jacob was the son of Isaac in the Bible, and his mother's name was Leah. Issachar Bates is a 19th century poet. And like I mentioned in one of the last videos, this could almost be considered a musical name as well because of the musical Joseph and the Music Take the Color Dreamcoat, which is about Joseph and his brothers. And of course, Issachar is then one of the names of the characters from that. I think that someone that likes Isaac might like Issachar because they have a similar look and sound and are both Old Testament biblical names. My next Isaac alternative I have is Cormac. This is an Irish name that means Raven's son. I really associate this name with Harry Potter because there is a character named Cormac McLagan in that. And then there's also a novelist named Cormac McCarthy. This name was actually in the top 1,000 boy names one year randomly in the year 2013, all the way up at 878, but has not been any other years. And oh, I just love the name Cormac. This is another one of those name lover's names. I think it is gorgeous and has several cool nickname options. And I think that someone likes Isaac might like Cormac since they're both two simple names ending in that AC look and sound. And my last Isaac alternative I have is Iver. This is a Norse name that means bow warrior. I really associate this name with musician Bon Iver. I think that is such an incredible, wonderful association. I love so much of his music. He's just amazing. It can also be pronounced Iver and was in the top 1,000 boy names at number 977 just one year in the year 1902, but no other years. I think that someone who likes Isaac might like Iver because they're both two syllable names and begin that I sound and the letter I as well. And yeah, I just would love to see this name be discovered. That is my last name for this video. Please let me know what your favorites of the alternatives I listed were and any other alternatives I didn't mention that you love for these names. And thank you again for watching. Have a great day.